This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the link in the description of the video to the full playlist. I hope that you're enjoying this series. Um, we're just looking over some applications that I found interesting and useful. And uh, today we're going to look at HTTP, I guess is how you say it. It's in the repositories, uh, probably on your system. So you can, uh, Debian based system, Linux Mint, Ubuntu, I haven't really checked, but I'm assuming they're in the repositories. It's in my repositories here for Debian SID, but we can aptitude. Search HTTP IE, and I don't need to sudo to search it. And there it is. You can see that I already have it installed. So you can sudo apt install HTTP PI. Again, I already have it installed. And as it says right here, it's for the command line. It's a curl like tool for humans. It's a lot like curl, only it gives you colored output. So if I was to use curl, I could say, uh, my website https filmsbychris.com forward slash v7 index.php and there it gives me the HTML of the page but it's blah there's no color there. there's no there's no pizzazz we want pizzazz can we get some pizzazz please well we're going to once you install HTTP, 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 uh, I'm assuming that's how it's said. You would think that you would type HTTP to use it, but no, there, there's no command found. It's actually, once you install it, it's just HTTP. Hey, that's simple, right? And we would use it just like this. We can say HTTP and the link to my homepage. And look at that. Oh, so beautiful. So. It basically does what curl does. Um, oh, now I'm up in the curl command, except for that it gives us some color. It makes it a little bit easier to see links and the classes and other attributes. Uh, actually, I, oh, that's commented out. That's why it's not. That's commented out on the page. Um, yeah, it just makes things a little bit easier. When things are color coded, you can, your eyes tend to go th to things faster. So it could be useful when trying to troubleshoot some HTML that you're pulling down from a page. Anyway, that's pretty simple. Uh, you can uh, you know check out more options in the man page, uh, man HTTP. And again, it's called, it's the program's HTTP, I'm assuming on all systems, because that's what the, the man page says. I don't know if maybe it's called HTTP, uh, the command on other systems, but on Debian, it's HTTP. And again, I'm assuming that's what the command is, since that's what the man page says. But there's a lot of options in here for posting to forms and uh, getting from forms and that sort of stuff. And you can also go to the GitHub page. There is a GitHub page. You can check out more information there. They have instructions on all that stuff as well. Uh, to find the GitHub page, you can you know go down to the bottom here and right there. You can go right there straight to issues and then you can look at other stuff on about this program. So uh, HTTP, it's like curl, but for humans because it's got some color to it. <laughs> anyway, as always, I thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying these tutorials. Uh, I hope that you check out the rest in this series and in the past videos I've done at filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description of the video there. You can search through quickly all my videos from both my channels. And I do hope that you enjoy them. I hope that you like, share, subscribe uh, to my channel. And if you have a dollar or two and want to support, patreon.com forward slash melex1000 or through PayPal, check out the support section uh, on my homepage or in the description of this video. As always, I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.